Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you the TC Electronic John Petrucci Dream Skate Pedal. This is a chorus pedal that also has uh, flangers and vibratos built into it, as well as a TC Electronic's uh, tone print, um, which you can get sounds off the internet and just beam it directly into the pedal through your cell phone, uh, Android or iPhone. It's uh, pretty cool. It's got two choruses, two vibratos, and two flangers. Um, all custom designed by John Petrucci, working with TC Electronic. It has a bright normal and dark switch for the effect. Um, as you saw, it has the speed, the depth, and the effects level knobs, as well as the function um, or preset knob. Stereo in, stereo out, a uh, nice bright blue LED, cool uh, kind of dark teal color. Sorry, the lighting isn't great in here, but it's whatever. Um, so you can get it for about 169 off, or like 168 off Amazon. You can get it from Musician's Friend. Get it from uh, I got mine from Sweetwater. Um, yeah, it was 169 plus shipping. It was like 30 bucks shipping because I live in Hawaii. Um, if you can find one local, like you'll you'll probably score on this. You'll get a lot cheaper. And uh, these things used to be like over 300 dollars when they first came out. So now's the time to get it. You won't be disappointed. Um, so. My goal for this review right here is to have you be able to hear the best, uh, most crystal clear, uh, crystal clear stereo sound. So what I'm doing is I have a separate mic to record my voice when I when I feel I need to say something uh, when I'm practicing or when I'm showing you what uh, what I'm playing. Um, but otherwise, I'm going directly into my PreSonus Fire Studio uh, through the stereo out of the pedal. Um, my signal chain is as follows. I'm going directly into my Wampler Ego Compressor, into a Black Star HT Dual uh, distortion pedal. Uh, I'm using the, the clean, or I'm, channel, I'm using channel one for the clean sound, channel two for the distortion sound. From there, I go into my Deluxe Memory Man, and then from there, I go into the Dreamscape, and then from there, back into the PreSonus, like I said. So, I'm using my trusty Carvin DC 747. Uh, it's passive. When I'm when I'm using the bridge position, I'm using humbucking pickups and or humbucking pickup. And then when I use the the neck pickup, uh, I generally like to stick with a single coil. And those are pretty much the only two settings I use on that guitar. Tone is full open. And for this demonstration, the volume is pretty much going to be full open the whole time anyway. Um, so. Yeah, enjoy. Sorry for talking so much, but I just want to make sure that you, that you kind of know what to expect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through all the various functions. I'm going to start with start with the first one, the first chorus, and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of mess with the knobs a little bit, mess with the switches, um, switch between distortion and clean, then move on to the next one. And uh, then I'll, I'll try and show you the, show, the tone print towards the end if I can. Uh, if I can somehow maneuver the camera to make it not look crappy um, so you can kind of see how quick and easy that is to find find a cool sound. So uh, without further ado, enjoy. Okay so this is the naked sound. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, loop a phrase and then I'm going to switch over and kind of kind of play with the with the knobs in front of you so you can kind of see what's what the different knobs do and, and how how dramatic the uh, the throws of the knobs are for a given effect. So here goes. Okay, so I'm going to switch the bright knob now down to normal. Not very noticeable. And that knob, or that setting almost makes it seem like it's turning, turning off. 
set it back to bright. I usually leave it at bright. Messing with the depth knob. Here's the thing with the effects level knob. If you turn it all the way down, actually there's some effects that I think if you turn it all the way down, the whole sound goes off. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. I usually leave the effects level knob all the way up anyway. So it seems if you have one one knob set kind of extreme, the others are best left not extreme. So let's move on to the flanger one. the bright down to normal. Just a touch of it there. With the dark, you can just barely make it out. It's still there, but you can just barely make it out. Let's move on to Vibrato 1. See, it's not, it's not hard to get a good sound out of this, especially especially if you just have it lightly set. I think the stereo spread is what makes it, uh, makes it for me with this pedal. Let's turn the volume, the effects all the way down. Yeah, so this is the one with the, um, with the tremolo. If you turn the effects level all the way down, then the sound disappears completely. Sorry, I meant uh, vibrato, not tremolo. And let's adjust the bright switch down to normal. Down to dark. Again, if you have one set really dramatic, it helps if the others are not set as dramatic. on the chorus too. Another very nice chorus. This is about my favorite setting for clean right here. Turn the effects all the way down, disappears. In my opinion, there's no reason ever to not have the effects level all the way up on this pedal. Bright, normal, dark, down to normal. Just kind of makes the effect a little bit less dramatic. Turn down to dark. I 
almost wonder if that doesn't make it disappear altogether. There's hardly any difference between that. Well, no, I guess you can kind of hear it in the background. Yeah, that's weird. turning the effects level down kills it. Switch to dark. Back up to bright. So let's go to vibrato too. Dark. It's bright. Normal. Okay, so let's do this. Let's have uh, some neutral settings. Effects level is going to be up for all of them. And then we'll just compare uh, the vibratos to start off with. Well, let's have them up a little bit more. So this is vibrato 2. Vibrato 1. A little bit more intense, a little bit more chorusy. That one's a little bit more one-dimensional. So now let's compare Flanger to. There's Flanger two, to Flanger one. Uh, electric mistressy, whereas the other one is kind of more like has the jet jet takeoff thing going on. Let's do chorus one. Yeah, see those speed and depth settings are kind of inappropriate for for all possible settings. But those speed and depth is perfect for chorus too. Now we'll just go over to the tone print. That's that one right there. Not really sure which one that's emulating. But you can adjust it too. Okay, you're probably getting sick of that riff. Uh, I sure am. Okay, so as you can see, it's, it's really versatile, really nice sounding on the cleans. Um, not a whole lot of unusable tones except at the most extreme of settings. Um, and that, th which I figure is pretty much going to go unused. Uh, bright and normal are nice though. So as you can see, it sounds really nice for clean sounds. Um, as long as you don't have the knobs set up too dramatic one way or the other, or if you balance out one knobs, uh, drama with another one's, uh, mellow, um, 
if, if you set one really low and another one really high, they should balance out nicely. But if you set two knobs really high, or in some cases even two knobs, you know, both to 12 o'clock, it's almost too much. Um, but for the most part, it's you can get nice usable sounds from all of the presets, um, and of course the tone print as well. Uh, I would say some of the downsides with this is you never know exactly. Well, I suppose once you really get used to the pedal, you know how it's going to work. But uh, some of the effects, you know, you, the effects level knob will turn all of the sound off. On other presets, it'll just turn off the the effect itself. So it's kind of weird that that's not. Um, completely standardized across the board. Um, another problem is it can only do one thing at once. So if you have a really nice, uh, like when we switch between chorus one and chorus two, the setting for chorus two was really um, was really nice, but then when we switch to chorus one, it was way too much, or vice versa. Um, you know, you be the judge. Um, same with the flangers and the vibrato. So th this this is not this is not a set it and forget it. Uh, type pedal, unless you you know, unless you only use you know one setting, uh, in which case it's still amazing. But um, so now let's go ahead and uh, let's let's do some. Let's see how it sounds uh, with a little bit of dirt. All right, now it's time to do some dirt. I'm now on the um, bridge pickup of my Carbon DC747. The JP pedal is off, as you can see. Uh, the compressor is off, the delay is now off, and the Black Star HD Dual is now on channel 2, which is the overdrive channel. So I'm going to go ahead and loop something, and then uh, we'll play with the knobs again. And yeah, let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the pedal on. We are now in just the first setting with uh, the knobs at 12 o'clock, effects level. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn that one all the way up. So that might be a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and... Um, Turn the depth down, maybe turn the speed down, kind of start with the... Uh, it's already in the bright section, so... Sorry about that. So yeah, it's still, it's still even usable, uh, even on distortion, so let's go to the flanger. Yeah, it's weird. Um, turning it to dark almost seems to turn it off completely. Okay, let's go ahead and do a vibrato one. If you were shaking your baby that was singing that Dream Theater riff, that's what it would sound like. That's normal. And once again, one of the effects that the effects level knob kills it. Dark seems to just make the whole sound darker.
It's kind of a nice subtle effect right there. Yeah, if anything, uh, you can set the vibrato uh, really lightly, and then it kind of just adds a stereo spread to it almost. So let's go into chorus two. Oops, wrong knob. Chorus two, let's set these back normal. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really noticing any sound difference from when I turn it off and on when the switch is on dark. So, I don't know, maybe my pedal's defective. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, okay, so now let's go to flanger two. Set the depth really high, but speed really slow. Gradually increase the speed. So it's not terribly difficult to bring it back and under control once it gets a little bit out of control. So let's go to the last vibrato here. Yeah, it's really noticeable at low volumes. And last but not least, let's switch over to the tone print section. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's about that's about what you can do. Um, so as you can see, it's got a lot of really usable sounds, even for distortion. Um, again, I recommend keeping the the settings pretty mild because, uh, or at least balancing the more harsh settings out with the with milder knobs. Like if you have the the rate all the way up, then or the speed all the way up, then turn the depth down. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like with the stereo uh, deluxe electric mistress. You're you're basically it's a novelty once once you turn the knobs up too far it's just it's just noise which I'm not saying there's not a place for that in some music but for the most part if you want a good usable sound you gotta kinda keep the modulations effect to uh, um, to a, a fair minimum so um, 
yeah, this, this is a great pedal, even for distortion. Uh, almost no unusable sounds in this pedal unless you turn the knobs you know, way too far. But even if you do that, as you saw, it's super easy to, to rein everything back into a nice, uh, nice, usable, um, nice usable setting once again. So now uh, we're going to take a look at the tone print and we'll, we'll kind of show you how that's going to work. All right, so as promised, I'm going to show you the tone print section of this pedal now. Um, right now I have one on it called, uh, it's called Quadrupler or something. It's by, it's a tone print developed by Bumblefoot. I don't really know who that is, but uh, maybe I'll Google it if I start feeling froggy. Um, so right now uh, I'm in the tone print section and I have the, I have it set to a pretty usable. So it's a it's a pretty nice sound, uh, but if you want to pick something else, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send, take you through the whole process of uh, uh, you know downloading the app and all that all that bull. So I'm gonna go to one called uh, Goth Bullshit, of course by Charles Cave. Oops. So um, once you found the one you like, th all you do is you hold the speaker up to your pickup and click a beam to pedal. So. One thing that's important is to make sure that um, any like modulation type pedals are off. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, obviously, you need your John Petrucci pedal on, but uh, make sure delay is off. Make sure uh, any other distortions or flangers or whatever else you got going is off. So, so the John Petrucci pedal gets as clean of a signal from your guitar as possible. So at this point, the only one I'm going to leave on is the compressor. And as you saw, the uh, LED flashed green a couple times, and once that happens, uh, you know you're in, in luck. So that one is called Goth Bullshit. Let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. So there you go. You, you got you got lots and lots of options. Um, 
stay tuned because um, in a little while here, I'm still waiting on one pedal. Uh, but when I get it, it's a it's a pedal called the Rabid Weasel from Granville Guitars. Um, the guy who builds them uh, basically takes the Build Your Own clone but makes his own modifications to it. It's the Build Your Own clone flanger. Makes his own modifications. And uh, so I'm going to be shooting that one out between the John Petrucci pedal and the Electro Harmonic Stereo Electric Mistress. Um, I haven't seen one of those shootouts on YouTube yet, so I think it'd be kind of neat, kind of give people a good idea of, you know, what flanger, phaser, modulation type pedal, um, some crazy space chorus shit, um, which, which one's the best one for them. So, hey, so I just need to interrupt myself for one second. Um, I just want to let you know more about the tone print. Uh, I went ahead and went on Logi or not Logitech, um, TC Electronics website, and uh, I downloaded the tone print editor, which opens up a million different settings. Um, you can choose, you know, you can choose the high pass filters. Uh, that, that's what was happening with the with the bright, normal, and dark switch. It's basically just a high pass filter, and you can kind of choose the frequencies. Uh, you can choose what what each knob does. I mean, you can have the speed knob uh, affect one one of the depths and the rate. Um, there, there's just countless settings you can you can set with that. Um, and the volume issue um, that I was talking about earlier, how, how some on some presets the knob controls the volume and you know turns it all the way down. Uh, you can decide if you want. Um, like when you make your own tone print, you can decide if you want the dry signal uh, at all. So th that's kind of what that is. If, they, if you choose no dry signal, then the volume switch acts as, uh, or the effects level switch acts as the master volume as well. So anyway, uh, back to me. I really hope <clears throat> hope you've enjoyed this uh, demonstration uh, slash review. Um, in case it's not blaringly obvious. Um, up for thumbs pedal. Uh, this is a really, really good one. Uh, it's definitely, definitely, probably going to stay in my arsenal as long as, as long as I have fingers to play guitar, um, and you know, as long as the apocalypse doesn't come, and or you know, um, as long as we still have electricity. So, <laughs> um, anyway, take care, everybody.